Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. I didn't want to interrupt the French dude. But yes, we are back in the Club Air, and this video is uh, going off of the v video I made the other day, you know, like the, the problems with Legendary Tier. Um, and we are now in our Club Air with Twist and Track. So uh, if you thought the Club Air was broken before, uh, just, just wait. Now, you do lose a range in your torpedoes. I lose, like, uh, from 9, I think, down to 8. But honestly, does that really matter? Yeah, you have to get in a little bit closer to potential radar cruisers, but... Like, seriously, that's that's the, the big trade-off, so... Um, and some people are like, oh, why are you complaining? Ugh. I'm not complaining. I love this ship. I love playing this ship. I just think the state of the game right now is not in the best place that it could have been if they were just a little bit smarter about adding legendary ships. Um, and especially about how they went about adding them. Um, y you know, like, oh, let's, uh, let's add, you know, ships that take six months at a, you know, a minimum, or three months for, for people that want to wall it their way, like I kind of did with the Kleber. Um, and, here, let's see, let's just absolutely bully whatever this is. I mean, we don't even use our reload booster. I know that guy too. I feel bad. He's a good guy. But sorry, dude. You're uh. Yeah, you gotta go down. If I don't beach myself. Oh shit! I'm gonna overturn that potato. Maybe a little too high. I hate how auto-aim, like, just yoinks the shit out of your shot. Still got him. His smoke's gonna be up, so we're gonna go in for the kill. But we know exactly where he is because of Twist and Track. <laughs> and there's nothing he can do about it. It looks like he's got potentially Smogathon running here. Now, we also do need to be careful for his torpedoes. Now he got the cap, so if he can get away, he'll he'll you know he'll be all right. But he's he's one shot, so should he use the reload booster there? That's probably a mistake on my part. Let's see if we can. Okay. Oh, that was not his second smoke screen. That was the Shima smoke screen. So yes, maybe not paying attention to the twist and track, but Shima down. There's the double. <laughs> oh, just gotta watch out. Uh, let's turn hard into these. Let's turn because they. Probably launch torps on me, so. Now our right, yep, there they are. Now our right side is. Eh, let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Those. Mm. If I eat torps here, I'm gonna be pretty mad because this is turning into a decent game, but. We are uh, trying to emphasize the. Just absolute brokenness of the. Uh... Am I gonna beach into this island again? No. Uh, of the Kleber with Twist and Track. Uh, so Lucky Big Boss on the other team. He's a good player. I've played with him a few times, had a few conversations. So hes I know he's handling business over there. Um, and this Odin is probably going to get dev-struck unless he's got his Hydra running. He does. We launched one set short, but yeah, that, still 10k off of him. These battleships just sitting in the back. We should be safe from any further torpedoes. He's flooding. We're going to try and launch... You know what, we're just going to do this. That should be... He should be gone. And in the meantime, this Iowa has n no defense against me. His Both of his destroyers on this side are dead. The one destroyer is on the farthest side of the map. There's... What's the cruiser? It's a hipper, so extended hydro need to be cautious for. But other than that, this game is going to be a complete wash for the enemy team, thanks to the power of the Kleber. I mean, and also playing smart. Uh, World Warships Legend Potato is a smart player, but he's just nothing you can do against the Kleber. It's just broken. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's nothing... The one guy who comments is like, oh, of course a Battleship main is saying the Kleber's broken. Number one, I'm not a Battleship main. Don't know why you would say that. Number two, um, is he going... I think we're going to wait, because I think he's going into the channel. 
He might beach. We could also YOLO him. I don't think he could dev strike us, but I kind of want to just play this a little more cautious. We're going to launch right there because I don't think he can get around that corner fast enough. In the meantime... Oh no, Aaron, you're a potato! We're going to leave the cap. Aaron, you're such a potato. Oh my god, dude. You're you're comrade potato. That's right. We go for the damage, right, chat? What what matters is the damage, not how you get it. Forget the caps, right? No dev strike. That's unfortunate. No floods either. He must be he must have turned on his damage gone. Cool ships don't look at explosions. We peeked at it. Did we? Oh, we missed. Cool ships uh, don't potato and miss the uh, the kill. Are we going to leave the cap again? No, we're going to try and... We could honestly... Oh, I really hope I'm not lagging right now. I really, really hope I'm not lagging. Because that would be really unfortunate. I should have launched that other set. I should have launched the other set uh, a lot more forward. But let's do this, and then this, and then... There we go, there's the cap. There's the hipper, the key's dead. Yeah, this, this enemy team didn't stand a chance when I got both of their destroyers. Now, granted, their their battleships could have pushed up, but even then, like if you look right now, like what are they what are they gonna do against me? I mean, I, he might detect me here because he's going forward, but I'm just gonna speed out of his concealment with the island. So, I mean, there's the Iowa down. It's probably like we he didn't even get into our. Should, should be one, two. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go around him. See if we can get a Kraken. Yeah, we're gonna lose spots here. This is this is just a selfish damage hunting play. I could back up here and easily keep these guys spotted for my fellow battleships. Um, but this is I, I just kind of want the we're going in for the Yolo. We're gonna lose speed boost here, but I mean, what does it matter? Fifty-five down to forty-eight knots. Like that's <laughs> it's that's absurd. Actually, we need to kite out just a bit here. This guy's going to stop, so we're going to put one right on the marker and then one forward. Oh, wait. We didn't get detected. Is he still going to go forward, though? Nope. But uh, I can't tell his speed. Got him. Let's see if we can get the Quacken. Oh no, that's gonna point him out! Please, please. Come on. Come on. We gotta launch him now. No, we're gonna point out! No! GG. <laughs> uh, I can never get Krakens. How do you do it, Meta? How do you get? How do you finish with the the Quackens? But yeah, this thing, like Meta says, is a certified Kraken printer. It is just utterly insane. Thirty-two hundred base. There's my little challenge for getting the uh, the XP there. GG, Lucky, and uh, Potato on the other team. I'm sorry that I had to do it to you, man. Um, but like I said, this thing with Twist and Track is just utterly absurdly broken, and you can't convince me otherwise. I don't care if you think I'm a battleship main. I don't care if you think I'm a cruiser. I don't. I don't care what you think. This ship is incredibly overpowered and broken for for the time being in Legends. There is no true counter to this. Maybe the Wooster. You can maybe say the Wooster. Um, but other than that, man, it's just... I'm sorry. It's just insane. It's its not placed well right now. And as you can see, if you with Twist and Track, you can just destroy the outcome of a game. We didn't have... We barely had any support on that side, and we obliterated it. I, I mean, there's nothing left to say. 
Th that, that was good competition, too. I know uh, Legends Potato, and he's a great player. So it's just... I don't know, man. It's uh, it, it's fun to play right now, but it's going to be really annoying, just like the Shima Apocalypse that was going on. It's still going on. Um, you know, you see four Shimas on the enemy team. It's going to be a great time when there's like 30 uh, Clubairs on each team. So I hope that uh, the stream recorded clear. I hope there was no lag interruptions. I felt a little bit of lag in the middle there. I hope it didn't mess up too bad. But that is the video, Twist and Track Clubair. Uh, I kind of clickbaited in the last one, but this is because um, I couldn't say because of the NDA. But this is the Clubair with Twist and Trek. Hope you guys like that. AA run out. Peace.